Hey everyone, welcome to today's live stream uh, here on a Monday. Normally I know Monday, I've been doing some Friday the 13th, but I decided to switch things up a little bit. You know, I play some games I haven't played before, and I've definitely got one in my queue. It's been there for a while. I've been meaning to play it, never got around to it. So I'll be doing it today. I mean, obviously, if you can see by the title, you can probably tell what it is. I'll be doing some Until Dawn. I mean, I saw some little bit of, like, trailers for the games and stuff, and it just seemed like a really interesting concept. I like kind of like the idea of, like, permanent saving, so, like, you can't undo any of the choices you make. You're stuck with them. I kind of like that idea, and I really don't know what to expect with this game, but I'm really, I've been wanting to check it out, and I'm really interested to do so, so I hope there's some good things. I I don't know how long the game overall is, so I don't expect to finish it today. If so, then it'll be something that will continue next week, but, you know, let's jump into it here, see what we got. And of course, as always, too, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Okay, so... I wasn't expecting anything about the butterfly effect. I wonder if that's gonna play it in there. The smallest decision can dramatically... I missed that. I didn't read it, but... Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. I mean, I kind of got the gist of what that previous message was. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Well, I definitely will. Oh, hey, I got a follower. Must have been during the uh, intro screen there, Matt Ringe. Ringe, rings, or, or, that's an A. Is it? I don't know, the font I chose. Matt A. Inge, sorry, that's an A. Uh, thank you very much for that follow, Matt, if you're still there. I appreciate you watching. I gotta pay real close attention to the dialogue too if every choice does matter in this game. Hannah! <laughs> Everybody's hiding. I'm sure he's very friendly. <laughs> okay, so I can move around. So... Okay. I can change the... Looking around, but not as fast as other games. It's probably more... Tutorial, press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hold. Hold R2 and... Well. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Oh, I see. Okay, so it doesn't stay up if you don't hold it. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. Yeah, I think that's shirt, not skirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest, I assume that's room underneath her thumb, 
at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh okay, so God. definitely they got some kind of joke they're trying to play on her. Nothing over here to interact with. So you got that one guy sitting here. None of the other buttons seem to do anything. Can't interact with him. So is he part of the prank or did he just like pass out or sleeping or what? Use the right stick to look around for objects that objects that glint can be inspected. Oh, there's another person I noticed there. Okay. Jeremiah Craig looks like a bottle of wine. Maybe whiskey, but or some or definitely some kind of alcohol. That Brett Dalton. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh. I know Hayden Panettiere's in here. Oh my God, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my God, Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. So much. Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? So, Hannah. how did I kind of jump to do? Oh, because Hannah's a different person than her walking around. Okay, I thought I was playing as Hannah, and I had to make my way up to the room. Find others. Wake Josh. Oh, I see. Okay. I had to hold that to make the decision. Fuck. That dude's passed out. There's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We we're just messing around, Beth. It yeah, you guys are being a bunch of you assholes to her, you know? Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Fast or safe? She's panicking about her sister. Fast. I assume safe probably has less of these quick time events. But logically, in this environment, I think she'd go fast, you know, because she's definitely concerned about her sister. Follow footprints, follow noise. Noise could be anything with this wind. Footprints are at least a definite person. Yeah. Said footprints, not hoof prints. Of course, I don't think she's going to run into Hannah one way or the other. I mean, I assume it's going to play out like a horror movie, so you got to have people dropping off. Oh, I see. Okay. Well. Oh! Across the, the touchpad on the controller. Okay. I was thinking it was the joystick. Oh, 
I'm thinking Hanno, at least for now, will be uh, end up being okay. Hold L1 to walk faster. I think, I don't know this character's name, I think she's probably going to be the first one to get killed. That's going to be my guess. That, uh... Okay. Not sure what that is. Like a... Looks like some kind of wood piece or something. Just a fence, stone wall over there. Place doesn't look too inviting. Nothing just rocks over there, so it's I guess a pretty linear path as to where you can travel. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. What's shooting fire up there? Beth, okay, that's her name, Beth. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, Beth. <laughs> Anna! Hmm. Oh, dropped her phone. They made sure to show it too, so it's like the old Hitchcockian thing that you know you you make sure to show something like that. The proverbial the idea was you show a gun in Act One, you have to use it by Act Three. So they showed the phone dropping. That's gonna somehow play. Got to play an effect later in the game. What the hell is shooting that flame? Oh, dude's got a flamethrower on his back. Drop pan out, let go. Ooh. Okay, so both are dead. I wouldn't necessarily trust that guy, but... Watch him be somebody you can't trust. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Oh, you see, no Peter Stormare. I like him, he's cool. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Hmm. As he's talking directly to the player. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Gloved hand. 
Scarecrow on a farm. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. I feel uneasy. You don't see any people there. The scarecrow's front and center, so I'll say uneasy. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? It's kind of presented in a creepiness way. Yeah, the scarecrow. Say a week, for example. Well, I'll stick with this. I've gone down this road. No, no. Why not? Yeah, nobody around. I'd say I'd be lonely. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until our next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Do, 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 do. That itself was kind of slight little creepiness there. So now, yeah, because you can't undo your choices, I am kind of curious if uh, Beth dropping... Uh, Jeez, I can't remember the other sister's name. Dropping her would be the right choice, you know? Obviously, at least one of them was going to die in that situation. Could the guy in, with the flamethrower be trusted? Yeah, Aiden Panettiere, I know she was in the game. Peter Stormare, obviously, we just saw him. Yeah, Brett Dalton. Yeah, see... I mean, they make him look a little younger and stuff, but man, that's... I kind of recognize the, 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 the way the face looked in the voice. Jordan Fisher sounds familiar. Nicole Bloom, I know that name, I think. I've seen her in something. I mean, Brett Dalton, yeah, I mean, the only thing I saw him in was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I still kind of recognize that Grant Ward voice. Hannah. Okay. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic mm. events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just oh. want you all to know. Um, Part of it's your it fault. Means, all your guys' fault. It means so much.
much to me that we're doing this. And uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. You know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Oh, okay. Beth and Hannah are so, his sisters, okay. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Well, considering it's a horror game, and more kids probably aren't going to make it, it might definitely be something you're uh, not going to forget. I'm assuming that Oh Death There is a song that's playing right now. Yeah, he's just saying Oh Death, so. Ten hours until dawn. Okay, so I assume. I guess I mean so the bulk of the story here takes place over that ten hour span. Oh, is that flamethrower guy? The one they're referring to from the mountains or whatever. Sam had his best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. And not much of a best friend when you were involved with that prank, I guess, but... Hello? Someone there? Sam, path to cable car station, 21 minutes, 2 seconds. That's the walk faster button. You can use the right stick to move the camera. I thought we already got that in the earlier tutorial. Okay. Oh, what? The gates busted, climb over. <laughs> oh, Jesus, never mind. Or is he just messing with them again? Oh, that's just grabbing it again. So... Oh, okay. Over here on the wall. You don't climb over the fence, climb over the wall. Quick, safe. Well, it says she's... Diligent or whatever stuff. I think she'd go the safe path. Climb. Drawing it out, is she going to be safe? He's out in the winter time. Huh? Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. Oh, so it's That's it. Come on. It's motion with the controller. <laughs> Cutie. 
Oh, look at so. Good animation on the squirrel. But seriously, looking ahead, it's like, could this place be like any creepier kind of thing? Who's R1 did? Oh, character info. The twins. Clues. So you're supposed to find clues of what happened to her then, or 1952 mystery man. Oh, so I guess there's gonna be like a lot of investigating and try to solve mysteries here. Is this something you can view? Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Death, black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold the tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offer visions to help and guide. White fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Well, I could certainly use some white butterflies myself oh there's that thing the totem artifact okay so that's what happened when I picked it up because the same impact of hitting the rocks so it just gives a flash of one like a possible outcome based on my choices. I guess every time I find one of those two. Okay, press R1 to view your totem collection. There's another sign over here. The past is beyond our control. Well, at least until time travel's built. <laughs> Which technically, if time travel will be built, then in a way it's already been built because Chris, you here? you'd have somebody travel into the past at some point, so. Okay. Can't get through there. There's a backpack over here. You're not in the bag, are you? Well, if he is, he's got to be cut up into pieces. Snoop. The bag's out in the open. Aha! Look who it is. Okay. Hey, nosy. Chris. I didn't see, uh... I didn't see what butterfly thing I got. Meth has a crush on Ashley, methodical, protective, humorous. You scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Okay, well, it better. Not, well, in this game, blow your mind could be a literal thing. Oh. Wanted. Milgram Victor. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Height, 6 foot 2, male, last known address, Blackwood Pines. Last seen, 1998 So when does this game take place? Like how old is that wanted poster? Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Oh, oh, so that's what we talked about beauties with probably the shotguns. Wanna try? The uh, rifles, whatever. Alright, here goes.
throws. Okay. Use the right stick to aim. Press R2 to shoot. I'm assuming shoot the bag. Now over there. Down here on the ground. I don't know why. Oh, there's a bottle on the ground. The right bag. What well, helps to have a targeting reticule, reticule, whatever that's, however that's well, pronounced. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Not oh, squirrely. Now he's gonna try to shoot the squirrel. Go for the bag. I ain't shooting a squirrel. Okay, that was a white butterfly, so... I assume that means my actions did something good. Probably would have been bad if I shot the squirrel, besides the fact that I wouldn't want to hurt the squirrel. So, okay, I'm playing as him now, that's what I thought. Us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Okay, so. I can't. Oh, there we go. But going to that sign does nothing. Nothing here, so I can't get in through the door. There doesn't seem to be. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, well, just hmm. keep an eye on him. He's been going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help. You know. Yeah. Nothing here. It's only that door flashing. Maybe if he tries it. For you. Oh, real gentleman. How do you get it open? Or did he have the key then? I thought it would have been locked for both of them. Hotel and sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. Please to set up house. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Well, that's richer than I am, that's for sure. Security camera. That looks like the I think the front where we just came in. Oh, there's a cable car. Oh, I see. So they're supposed to ride that up to the top of the mountain then, or? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but okay. Did I? Ah, she was just kind of standing out there. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else then to explore. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, 
all getting everyone together on the anniversary. Him and Josh seem really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. <laughs> so the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like <laughs> three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Definitely a slow-paced game so far. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh. So I'm controlling her now. I thought something else was going to happen. Stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. So much. Or it's stuck in there that long, I don't think. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Yeah, I think she'd Mike and just openly Clint say it. Together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. And out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car <laughs> ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you Sounds like somebody who's probably gonna die soon. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kinda creeped out. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! 
<laughs> Mike Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. You guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Well, up in the woods, yeah, that's what you said last time, and the two girls died. What's wrong with you? Yeah, exactly. Lighten the mood, M. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. He doesn't. Really, I don't. I'm assuming he doesn't know him that well. Michael, you gotta step off. And he'll Emily stand and up to try to stand up for his girlfriend. The way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Should have muted my mic there. I saw the, the meter going. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. Sam is already up there, isn't she? Isn't that the one Hayden's playing? Matt, please. No, I'll go with that option. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you Okay, it'll probably be gone when they come back. Leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to okay, be so helpful, she's, she's then not grateful then. get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um, okay, fine, whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you. Who's just concerned with you, man? To cut up some slack. It's not that he's trying to argue with you, he's just concerned about your well being. Okay, Ashley has a crush on Chris, academic, inquisitive, forthright. Whoa, oh, hello. I say just a landscape, but nothing there, but friendly. They're not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, wow, man, I'm. So I'm far, scared. the jump scares haven't got me, but. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. <sighs> you know what? Just because she was a being a bitch to him. Um, out, yes. Ah, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Ah, damn it. Matt. So in the first two choices, did I just destroy their relationship? <laughs> Okay, so maybe there are not all these things are lined up at the same time, kind of thing. You did not just do that. 
Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have? <laughs> supple young rebel. Military guard come to take me into custody. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Boom, right in the head. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, ah. <laughs> Get in the head. Oh, snap. Oh, she dodged. Little birdie. It kind of looked almost like more in the back of the head, top of the head kind of thing. Yeah. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Well, yeah, I'm not going to... Again, I didn't do the squirrel. I'm not going to hurt a bird. Him, on the other hand. <laughs> I don't know if I can necessarily recall ever having like a snowball fight in a video game before. I could be wrong. All right, all right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, yeah. We'll go with another <gasps> snowball. <laughs> Because it's fun and because okay, he seems like he's going to be a dick. Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm starting to guess that this is not a linear story. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. So is he talking to flamethrower guy? Could he be flamethrower guy? I'm going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Men worry me, women worry me. Jeez, I can't choose that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with one. I think whoever this is, I'm going to go with the whole woman thing. I mean, me personally, I mean, it would be both because both men and women are capable of bad things. Planes scare me, crowds scare me. This guy's kind of creepy, so I'm going to say crowds because of people. I fear heights, I fear drowning. I'm guessing he spends a lot of time snow or something like that so I'm gonna say drowning rats or snakes I'll pick the snakes 
That one seems kind of like a 50-50 to me. Guns or knives? Oh, both can be. Actually, the items themselves are not scary. That's the people that wield them. I'll go to guns. If this is like a potential killer thing or something like that, I assume he's going to be more of a knife person than a gun person. Snakes scare me. I feel cockroaches. Oh, I already went with snakes once, so. Like, dude, the doctor's not even paying attention. Clowns or scarecrows. What are we in a Batman game now? We got a Joker and Scarecrow? Um, <laughs> well, again, I did the, the Scarecrow earlier, although that is one creepy ass looking clown. I mean, that makes the Joker look friendly. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Well, I went with the Scarecrows, and again, I'm assuming this is going to be a killer. So he'd be comfortable with Gore. Doing very well. Dumping love. This doctor's friggin' creepy as hell though to himself. Do you speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, hell, spiders. I'm definitely going with that one because I hate spiders. Needles, crows. Go with the crows again if it goes scarecrow theme. Ooh. The zombies. Well, again, yeah, it's, scarecrows have popped up three times in here, so. Crows again? Crow and scarecrow definitely seem to be a repeating theme here. Again, it's crows, storms. You weren't even paying attention, did you? Like that old doodling in your book. Scarecrows and crows. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> well, I don't know where you're spending your Friday nights, dude. Uh, well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I'm assuming at the end you're going to find out who the doctor's talking to. Previously on Until Dawn, so... Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. So as I keep periodically doing this, like, uh, episodes or something, I don't know, but... I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For... for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch! So, I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb. Okay, yeah, so two jealousy. Nine hours. So is each portion going to be like an hour, then there's going to be ten little segments then, I guess? Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. <laughs> you got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? The new boyfriend there, he's. Definitely looking pissed off. I can't remember his name. Alex's was it or 
I think Matt actually now thinking about it, but. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough out here, sir. Stop. I just meant. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know, like we always used to. Damn it! This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Uh, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Hmm. You know, and I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? I think he kind of likes her, so he'd stand up for her kind of thing. Cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off Relax. already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Well, and sex, that wouldn't necessarily be a good thing, right? I mean, if you're in and out without the other person kind of knowing, then I guess it wouldn't be all that good now, would it? Four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Shoot, nobody likes cold buns. Well, there are windows here. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. I just gotta turn off my GPS. I'm finally, like, outside. Okay, axe I'm holder, but it's smashed. On the phone talk. What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Not a very secure window. <laughs> Not a smooth landing either. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, <laughs> climbing up the rope. Ah, you didn't have a rope, buddy. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. 
Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Okay, so something's gonna go wrong here, I assume. So I have to find a spray can of deodorant. Well, I didn't want to go in here yet, but now that I'm in here. Newspaper clipping. Ex-janitor convicted for arson. Swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Oh, so that's supposed to be flamethrower guy that was in the... the Prologue. So I can't like actually rotate around. A shoe? Oh no, it's one of those totem things. Okay. Lost totem. That wasn't a pleasant outcome. Okay, so this is back to where I started. Nothing in here, so let's check this room. Okay, nothing, I guess, over on that side. Nothing here. Let's keep moving forward. Into the dark, creepy hallway. A picture, painting, perhaps. Huh? That's cool. Family portrait. Not sure how that'll be a clue, but I'm sure we'll find out later. Huh? Thing seems like a castle, all the stone. door here so nothing on this side then I guess the doors are our only choice Got the front door, can't you? Can you get open from the inside? Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Yeah, if you want to hook up with the girl, that's not going to be good. Yeah, you can't open it from the inside. Guess not. So that's where I came in. Or is this where I came in from? Oh, the skull thing. Yeah, okay. So that's where I actually came in. We'll go back up the stairs. This is a new area. Sounds like something knocked over. There's either a person or an animal in here. TV. TV that apparently doesn't work. Maybe it's not plugged in, I don't know. Nope. 
Nothing. Nothing over here. I'm gonna use up all the fuel on the lighter before I find a deodorant. Okay, picture. Ready for the senior prom, Sarah, Sam, Mike, Emily. and upstairs to check too, geez. So, do I go upstairs or was there still something over here that I, like another room that was down here? Yeah, over here, okay, I thought there was another room. Check everything down here if I can before going upstairs. Although, it's likely you're looking for a spray can of deodorant. It's either going to be in the bathroom or a bedroom. Phone that's dead. Oh no, answer machine. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. That's got to be the person that the uh, news report at the beginning of the game said was the person of interest, I'm assuming. Possibly the one that the doctor is talking to and flamethrower man. Okay, so I think we got everything down here, so let's check upstairs. Left or right, I will take left first. There's an open window. Trophy. Winner. Bob Washington. Getting like rumblier and noisier up here. Hey, there you go. Whoa, crap. Okay, that one got me. And that one even had a little pause there and stuff. That 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 jump scare got me a little bit. Perfect. So they're uh, one for three so far with the jump scares. Well, I guess that's it. Then no more exploring the rest of the house. Got him a second time. Didn't get me that time though. I think it was a uh, Wolverine. Home sweet 
home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my god. Still gotta get some power oh, going, turn the lights on. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Okay, so how's he going to respond? I assume I'll have a choice of response. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. <sighs> I'll do the challenge. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M through the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? I've already screwed up the relationship. Might as well keep rolling. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. That is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? <laughs> Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling <laughs> homecoming a cow. You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncall. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that. <laughs> you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades? You've got oh. All the natural advantages you can handle. Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No, you're the one who needs to keep. Was that white butterfly, or could have been brown? To get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Cause I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? I didn't recognize the name, but the guy playing Josh, that voice definitely sounds familiar. I've seen him in something. It's right up the trail. Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, <laughs> she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, Do I you? That relationship probably wasn't on the best ground to begin with here, so maybe it's not entirely my fault if they're having trouble now. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, far. How far 
is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. <laughs> uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry <laughs> to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. So, where exactly are they off to? Nothing over here, so. Burn, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you going to do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. I hope this is the way I'm supposed to be going. juice or something didn't Josh say there was a generator so we find the generator turn it on Mike wouldn't it be nice to fire up the Jenny and get moving what's a Jenny another totem talk about the generator you idiot Yeah, it definitely would be the danger totem, I assume. And I'm guessing the masked person is flamethrower guy. Excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Okay, I'll, I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Okay, there's flamethrower guy. sound like the crunching in the snow that that really does sound authentic so it's good sound design in this game this was the way there right yeah okay I assume now we go back inside Never up. Oh, Say so I never did look down in that end, but I can't go in there. Okay. Nope. Can't go back in, so that's not the destination. But I can walk around here. And nothing there. Okay, so then I guess back downstairs. Well, if I can get down the stairs. Hmm. 
Hmm. Stone wall there, so. Or actually, the, the fence. The gate. Because apparently, oh, hello, what do we got here? Not a lot of DLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. That doesn't count as a clue or anything. But is going out there the smart play. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. <laughs> Actually, before it goes any further here is stuff, I'm going to take my uh, take a break here. I'll be back in about five-ish minutes, and we'll continue on with the game and see where the story goes. So far, we haven't lost any of these other kids yet, just the two, two in the, the main story. So, well, we'll just see how things go. And I'll just be patient. I'll be back in about five minutes.
Okay, and we're back. Police tape. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I'll give him at least one non-dick moment. Or being a dick moment, I should clarify. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum, to drink hot chocolate. Jess! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> seven? Uh, can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Uh. All right, we're coming after you. Just stay put. Mm. Creepy hey, dudes know. behind him still. So. Help me move this cart thing? How am I moving? How am I moving? Moving it forward or pulling it backwards? Forwards, I guess. Okay. <laughs> There's a mind chat that I just saw a spider. I was not paying attention. I was so expecting to be a cutscene and not a uh, um, having to take action. Thank you. Still got my teeth. That's a plus. Yes. Yes. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not okay. the good kind of willies. So multiple paths to check. This is going up, so I assume this might lead to an exit. You all right? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking you think? Mind danger from that. I wonder if there's something I'm missing downstairs that I came up here. I'm gonna check it back over. I didn't fully go over here on this side. Oh, well, guess you can't then. Okay, well. There was no need to come back then.
You know, I know you don't want to be there, but if you guys were smart, you'd go back to the cabin. Didn't you just go upstairs? So, not going back. Oh, I see cabin. Maybe they are going back after all. What's that? <laughs> all right, all right. Save for the Was that flickering something over here to check out, or? Oh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Gonna look at the cabin. Uh, hey there. Hey, how are you? No name. <laughs> right. I just saw someone at the cabin. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? What was that? I don't see anything now. Or nothing is happening. Again, babe, it's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hey, Jess. Mm hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. <laughs> Michael, I have the best idea. What? Yeah, so thank you again very much for watching too, No Name. Come on, I, I appreciate please. that. Come on. Let's oh. not hug a bear. <laughs> Is this a safe path to go down though? Or is this just where they came up, maybe? No, because came up from the back, I think. Okay, yeah, this is my first time going through it. I've, I've had it for a while. It's just been sitting there, and I never ended up playing it. I've always wanted to, me to get to it, so... So far, it's okay, you know, kind of interesting story. Maybe a little slower paced than I thought, but. And just to let you know, I, uh, as you can see uh, up above on the top of the screen, I live stream on YouTube Gaming Saturday, Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then... Mondays at Twitch at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I was going to try to do seven days a week between the two platforms, but I don't think I'll be able to do that, so I'll probably just do, like, I'll add Friday. I'm still not exactly sure of a time frame for that one yet, but so I'll be like Monday and Friday on Twitch and Saturday, Sunday on YouTube Gaming. So if you want to check out my uh, YouTube as well, you can. Feel free to. Snowball fight again. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Okay, she's gone. That's not good. Yes. That's definitely not good. Uh, well, 
I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? <laughs> Okay. All right, oh, thank you for that. See if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Oh, I thought that was a uh, glow of something to interact with, but I think it's just moonlight coming in. So, nothing in here, so I guess I gotta leave the room. Okay, something to interact over there in the... Back wall. Oh. Business card. John John Johan D. Smith, tattoo artist, March eighteenth, Party invite for Hannah. Crush much? I think that's a picture of Mike. If she had a crush on him, that kind of makes sense too why she was duped with the prank at the beginning. Other card. Hannah, Hannah, Josh, and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party, October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress, obligatory. Oh. That's the picture that the doctor dude showed. Glove guy in the beginning. Go around this way, then I guess. Or okay, can't go any farther at all. Okay, well that's it for that that little journey. Turn around, go back. Hmm. I was back in the bathroom. Second time I've seen Nightbot do that. I gotta check the settings. Stairs going down. So am I supposed to go maybe talk with them? Haven't found anything else up here. The other set of stairs. Oh, door. 
Thought it was closer to it, but now that's locked. Okay. Yeah, they probably got to go downstairs talk to the other ones. Oh. Dead end there. Okay. Yeah, let's go downstairs. Okay. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Oh, thank you for that. A joke, man. Who do shit? No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Although, if you're talking about yeah. subscribing here on Twitch, I, I don't think I can have subscribers yet, because I'm not an affiliate, but if you're talking about subscribing on YouTube, yeah, I appreciate that. See if I can catch up to him. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. That guy is familiar. I've seen him in something. Uh, I'll go with the flattering. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. <laughs> I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Sam. Yes, Josh. I, I think he wants to make a move himself. What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Okay. I'm not sure what GTG is, but uh, I'll give her the uneasy. I'll, look, I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little set of stairs. Mm -hmm. oh, this way, okay. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Kind of creepy in the whole cabin, I think. Be on your own. Baseball bat? Yep. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. Oh, okay. Good to go. Okay. Summer, we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious 
competition out there on the big lawn. Well, definitely, I appreciate it. I appreciate you just watching, being here, any support you give. I, I appreciate that very much. And it has the white butterfly, so hopefully it has a good sign. Here, can you, can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so. First time I did this, I was didn't think you literally had to keep the controller still. So nice one. Okay, pretty good at that, holding it nice and steady. It's not that difficult. I assume too, it's not like a huge sensor, you know. No, it's actually pretty simple. So far, too, like, uh, only one of the jump stairs has got me a little bit. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay. I'm just, try again. Well. I'm moving the right stick. Okay. I don't know why I didn't want to work. That's more like it. All right. Five, girl. Oh. Look away for one second. I missed that. That's so fast. I didn't mean to leave him hanging. Yeah, I think he definitely wants to hook up with her. This is probably going to be a mistake, but... Probably end up really being something behind him. All right, all right, your point. Dirty love. What? No. Where'd you get the first? No. Okay, so. Doesn't start at thirty. No, fifteen. Maybe I was overestimating it. Don't go alone. Maybe we should check it out. Why? I don't know, what if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rat. That one of the kids, or who is that? To keep out strangers. Well, it does a very good job of it, doesn't it? Not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity. Are you? Are you serious? 
Were you in on this, Putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. Well, that's not going to get in her good graces, I don't think. So if at this point the mm -hmm. generator's on, shouldn't they have like lights on in the house or? <laughs> okay, okay. Did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night. Okay, I'd see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right. So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. Okay, we're back to the creepy doctor, but now his window's all boarded in. Oh. I just got a YouTube subscriber. If you're watching there, William Keck, I thank you for that. Is it? Yeah, Keck, I just want to make sure I did get it right. What? Got a big ass spider on his desk too. Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Oh, what was that you no name? Or were you just saying that you had a subject? Respecting yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? That's kind of tough. I would say honesty so because... You would tell the truth. You know, I wouldn't want somebody like loyal hanging around with me if they didn't want to be. I'd rather them say they didn't want to be around me. Now, again, honesty, because somebody can disingenuously donate to a charity. Like even some hooks hanging there and stuff, crows. Like every time they show this doctor, he gets even more and more creepy. It was just a prank, Han. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did okay, you that was you. Head? Okay. You well, thank you very much then. I, I appreciate that again. Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all of my Twitch streams too, I end up putting them on the YouTube channel as well, so like any live streams that, you know, missed, you can always go back and check on the YouTube channel. So I use that as like a, besides broadcasting live on YouTube, I use it as an archive for the Twitch. Ouija board. That's been a while since I used one of those. And all present will remove their garments at my soul. Never did a damn I'm thing. <laughs> I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. What 
see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? <laughs> I got to have some. Okay. Uh, is anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone. Spirit, spirit phone. Um, Aren't you Africa? supposed to have your fingers on the little... Yeah, my voice. Give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a stop Guys, sign. The little viewfinder thing. Okay, okay. Is anyone there? Wherever there is. Okay, they do have a finger on. Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Oh, shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Uh... Yeah. Whose sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? That's supposed to be. Ask it who's supposedly Josh, supposed to be either Hannah or. Yeah. Okay, well, Beth, I couldn't remember the other one's name. Is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. So, 50 50 choice. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh God! <laughs> this is messed up. If you picked Josh, Beth, would have said yes or doesn't say no. Are you, fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No, dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh, I can handle it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've never had one of those things move for me without somebody actually moving it themselves, so. Hannah, we miss you, and we want to know what happened to you. Can you, can you tell us what happened? B? E? T? R? Uh -oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K I L L E D. No. Kill. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. A Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just, we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am no. so Guys, sorry. Wh wh what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Ash is definitely getting really emotional over this. I'll go to clarify this time. Okay. How did you die? Hannah, what happened to you? L? I? B? The library. Maybe there's something in the library e here? E? R? O? O? Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Chris? This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no. You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need fault. this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Sh should we go after him? Ah, man, I'm... I mean, he'll be okay. Let's... I definitely am interested to see how all this plays out. Crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Jess? Well, now we're back out here. Jess! Oh! Fuck nuggets. Fuck nuggets. <laughs>
Forward or right? Yes. Hun? I'm going forward. Light of my life. Yes. Buddy. Okay, so what we got up here? Just like a mask on a stick or something. Not funny. Well, I'll keep moving forward. I totally promise I won't murder you when I find you. Oh! oh my, oh my God. God. No. <laughs> That was so good. Not, no. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if she if she was. Okay or not, so I guess you're just messing with him. You recorded that? How can you be? I was scared, Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to scare you. If we send that to anybody, I'm gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> guess you never really know someone until you scared the pants off of them. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my okay. mind-melting thrill skills. They were watching them. Looks like they got thermal vision. Another scream. Was it someone screaming? No. No. Uh, probably just a uh... squirrel. <laughs> I ain't never heard a squirrel make that noise. I don't know what the hell kind of squirrels you got in your area. What? Do you hear that? No. Hello? Someone there? Deer. I think that was a deer. That thing almost killed us. So footsteps in that way, so then I guess forward is the way to go. Because yeah, there's no footsteps this way. A lot of the cutscenes I lost track of which direction was which. See a light up ahead. Is that the cabin? Charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. No, no, it's a regular rundown old shack. That ain't the cabin. Can't. Nope. Trying to get over there where the underneath where the light is, but I guess can't get over there. More animals. I think it was deer again. What is that? I'm not sure I want to know. That said, it definitely sounded like an animal getting killed or maybe wounded. 
Something got the poor deer. Poor guy. Uh, mercy kill. Okay, Poor thing suffering. Hey, I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, geez, how do I? Uh, I can't watch this. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! I feel like the whole head just... Now what happened to the body? <laughs> yeah, I'd run like hell. It's like the whole head kind of imploded. Uh, Risk shortcut. You're panicking like that. He is... I'll do the right thing and help her. What if after all that too, he's like a total jerk and he closed the door on her and left her outside? Hopefully he locked the door on his way in. Bears don't have thermal vision. Not as far as I know, but I'm not a bear expert. I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is going to open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Uh, this is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a drive through or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael. Okay, so they're not at the actual, the same cabin as the other kids then, I don't think. Because they had a fire going. Bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Not a good way to proposition her, man. Mood lighting. Yes. My lady. Not very romantic mood lighting. Mood lighting. Shit. Fuck, Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's Lost your phone? phone? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it? Oh, crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Yeah, how okay. many phones you go through? I'll, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. What was over here? Oh, matches. I think those will be good for the fire. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Did 
check out what's going on over here. Nice. Electricity. Lighten up the mood a little. Oh. Ah. Hey. Okay, Quiet, no electricity. Hey. Probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. Clue found tennis photo. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Toronto. Well, then I'm exploring first. That's it. Okay, I guess that's it then. Oh, I had to let go. Oh, hell yeah. Go Kama Sutra. Inventive. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. Oh. That's why you gotta flip backwards. Oh, you can only flip between those two pages. Nothing else over here. Let's check. This looks like a bathroom. I see a sink. A fire, Michael. Not writing a novel. How much longer is it going to take you? Jump scare again. Fucking shit. Fuck, fuck, shit. <sighs> what do you think was in there, Mike? Come on. Okay, let's go go work on that fire now. Nope. Keep going this way. Hopefully there's wood in there. It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Oh yeah, there's wood. Or kindling, I should say. Here's the wood. Yeah, I think he'd go for it. Maybe we just need to jump into it, you know, like jumping into a swimming pool. <laughs> what? Maybe. Again, that's not very romantic. You know, making out and see where it goes from there. Seriously? Did you think that would work? Always had before. <laughs> Dick brain. Yeah, I'd say so. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please. <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like except the creepy guy that's been spying on you. Like it. Yeah, really. Or I assume guy it could be a woman. I really don't like it. Okay, it is. Yeah, see, yeah, dude, spying on you right there. Shutters are shutted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to like keep this up. And what? It will be rough. Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest. I am really kind of insecure. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. It's just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But 
you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah. I guess I do. Yeah. And that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. <laughs> Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled. I would say the shutters didn't seem to block out too much, but... That looks like that ruined his good time. I don't know. Okay, well, go find out now, please. I like music. Oh, come on, go through the door. Something smashed the window. Oh, the cell phone. It's Somebody threw a cell phone through the window. What? The creepy guy. How is it my creepy phone? person. I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. Hey! Yeah, pricks! That means you! I know you're out there! What the fuck are you trying to do? You want to ruin our fun that bad? Well, guess what? You can't! You can't ruin our good time! Because Michael and I are gonna fuck! That's right! We are going to have sex! And it's gonna be hot! So enjoy it! Because I'm now we're going to... <laughs> Oh. Okay. I was not expecting that. That that came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... I think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters. That's why we came back up here. So, I, I'm i only assuming she's now the... Uh, yeah, where am I going here? I'm only assuming now that, yeah, she's the first one to die out of the group here. Okay, that's some weird stuff. So. Look. What? There was something behind the box. Yeah, a button. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. <laughs> Did I move the bookcase? Does it unlock the door in the previous room? Okay, it opens the bookcase. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Well, go through there. 
security cameras and a spider hate damn spiders clue found portrait photo Whoa, is this... I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off fucking 16 years 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and I can't see what the other thing is because of the light I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. So possibly, uh, well, they said they were twins, so like Hannah and Beth, they have a, Is that, was that it in here? Or? Yeah, I guess that's it in here, okay. Yeah, Hannah and Beth, maybe their uh, father's not their father and their mother had an affair or something. Oh, oh, can't walk around that chair. Well, come on, you're blocking the path, Ashley, sorry. Oh, no, that doesn't sound creepy. That's a door that was closed before. Wait, isn't this the way he first came in? Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. So, um... I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on hmm. this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and. It, there was nothing he could do. What do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. Well, there was that guy I told well, you about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And, and then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <laughs> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Coming! Hold on! Oh. Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Oh, that's not good. Ashley! Are you okay? I'm gonna... Ash? Ash! Okay, so obviously not off to a good start here. That looks like the same mask or similar mask that was in the truck there that popped up. Yeah, he every time gets creepier and creepier. Well, I think this ends like the little segments and stuff. So after this little thing with the doctor, I, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to show you some... Uh pictures of people that you have come to know. Okay, those are the kids. You don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. 
Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Okay, Sam or Josh. Sam seems nice. Emily or Matt. So far, the way things are going, Matt. Emily could possibly be interested in cheating on him, maybe. Not confirmed, just maybe hinting towards that. Ashley or Chris? Both seem like nice people, but at the same time, he did that monk thing, so... I'm going with Ashley. Mike or Jessica? Uh, they actually seem like they kind of fit together. I guess go with Mike. I mean, it's kind of tough with that one. Why that doctor looks so disinterested at Josh or Emily? Josh. Jessica or Chris? Chris. <laughs> what the hell is that look? Tell me. In this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Kind of being you because you, you, you're kind of creepy. Jessica or Emily? Emily's shown that potential that she may be interested in cheating, which Jessica hadn't, so. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like you? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I didn't say it was going to be in this doctor's office by the end of the game. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be it. I appreciate you all for watching. I appreciate uh, No Name for both the follow on Twitch, the subscribe on YouTube. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, I probably won't be back until... Actually, no. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to try to be on tomorrow night. I'll be on about the same time. I'll probably be back here on Twitch. I want to try some Friday the 13th because they got the new Jason coming out, the Part 5 version. So, yeah, I should be back on Twitch tomorrow. But if not, the next time I'll be back on, um, I'll try to be back on Friday. Because I'm not sure if about Wednesday or Thursday. But, um, yeah, I'll try, try tomorrow night. I really want to be on tomorrow night. And then if not, the next time I'll be live will be Saturday. or No, definitely Friday. Yeah, I'll definitely be Friday on Twitch because I'm doing... Uh, The Last of Us, a replay of that. I couldn't think of the game for a second. Alright, so I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And I will see you Friday.